Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is Friday and today is a little bit of a sad day for me. Do you know why? It is our last story day together. It's our last day of school before you guys get to have a summer break. And then we'll come together again in the fall. But for now, this is our last day. So I thought we would have a little bit special day today. And we are going to read a story that's one of my favorites about a picnic. A picnic is a way you can celebrate if you want to. Maybe later today you can have a picnic with your family or maybe you can have one tomorrow or some other time this summer. This picnic though is special because this is a teddy bear's picnic and I brought all my teddy bears over so they could be part of the picnic. There's Corduroy when he lost his button and Corduroy when he got a pocket and my little teddy bear that I had for my daughter when she was a little girl and the story is called The Teddy Bear's Picnic. And this story is also a song, and I bet you've heard it. And if you want, while I'm singing, you can march around because sometimes with this song at preschool, we like to do a teddy bear parade. So if you have a teddy bear, you can hold your teddy bear and march, or just sit down and hold your teddy bear while I sing the song. And it's called The Teddy Bear's Picnic. If you go down to the woods today, it's sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise. Let me do the costume. For every bear that ever there was, will gather there for certain because. Today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Look, they have a basket filled with all kinds of picnic things. Every teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat and wonderful games to play. Beneath the trees where nobody sees, they'll hide and seek as long as they please, because that's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. It says picnic supplies. Look at all of the things the, pic the bears need for their picnic. If you go down to the woods today, you better not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safer to stay at home. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. They're all following the arrows to the picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Look, they're playing basketball. Watch them catch them unaware and see them picnic on their holiday. See them gaily get about. Look at that. They're playing games. They're having a good time. They love to play and shout. They never have any cares. At six o'clock, their mommies and daddies will take them home to bed because they're tired little teddy. Bears. Did you see that that little teddy bear wasn't a teddy bear at all? It was a person pretending to be a teddy bear so that they could be part of the teddy bear's picnic and special day. And guess what? If you look very, very closely, the mommy and daddy were also not teddy bears. They were pretending so they could be part of that the bear's special day too. I hope you have a special day with, with your teddy bear someday. But now we are going to have two stories about saying goodbye. Because when you have your last day of anything, you need to say goodbye. And that's what we're going to do today. Debbie is going to say goodbye to you. I really had fun reading you stories 
all of these days that we've had stories together while you were at your house and I was at my house. And the first story is called, See You Later, Alligator. And again, another jacket cover, jacket on my book. It's called, See You Later, Alligator. Have you ever heard that phrase before? If you have, I think you're gonna hear some more just like it right now. Oh, it looks like they're having a picnic too, doesn't it? That looks fun. Tortoise wanted to go on a big adventure to see the world, but he couldn't possibly leave without saying goodbye to all of his animal friends. See you later, alligator. I'll be a while, crocodile. Toodaloo, kangaroo. I'll call you soon, Mr. Raccoon. I'll be gone before noon, Mrs. Baboon, because... It's a long way there, baby bear. You'll have to stay here, little dear. Let me say goodbye to all of his friends. It's over that hill, Buffalo Bill, across the wide sea, Bumblebee. Through marshy bog, scrubby dog, and desert dry, butterfly. Wow, he's going on a big adventure, that tortoise, isn't he? Look after the house, timid little mouse. Don't look forlorn, unicorn, I'll be back. Unicorn doesn't want him to go. It's hard to say goodbye sometimes, isn't it? The key's under the mat, kitty cat. I'll put money in the meter, anteater. He's got a lot of rhyming, doesn't he? I'll be back, frog named Jack, sooner than you think, slinky mink. I can't stop another day, squawking Jay. There's so much more to see and do, Mr. Gnu. So don't wait up, Buttercup. Looks like it's time to go, Slow Snail Joe. It was the same every day. By the time Tortoise had said goodbye to all of the animal animals, the park gates were locked and his big adventure to the world had to wait for the next day. Is he still here, said the alligator. Will he ever leave? He's still here, said the alligator. That's silly. He, by the time he said goodbye to all of his friends, the day was over and he had to start all over the next day. Well, that's kind of how I feel. I don't want to say goodbye either, so I want to read one more book so I don't have to. And this is another book about saying goodbye with more rhymes and more sayings that people sometimes say when they say goodbye. And you can maybe learn some of these and say it to your friend when you're saying hello or goodbye or your moms or your dads if they're coming or going. And this is called Gotta Go, Buffalo. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. He said that in the other book. See you soon, you big baboon. Isn't that a funny thing to say? I gotta go, buffalo. Can you say that? I gotta go, buffalo. Maybe you can help me with these. Toodaloo. What could be toodaloo? Toodaloo, kangaroo. Can you say that? Toodaloo. Kangaroo toodaloo is like bye-bye. Take care. Can you think of something that rhymes with take care? Take care, 
polar bear. Take care, polar bear. Hit the road. What rhymes with road? Yellow toad. Hit the road, yellow toad. Chow now. What rhymes with now? Brown cow. Chow now, brown cow. Can't stay, blue jay. Can't stay, blue jay. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Getting near the end. That makes me sad. Wave goodbye, toodaloo. See you soon, can't stay. Take care, gotta go, chow now. Hit the road, see you later. When we're apart. Oh my, it doesn't want to open because I don't want to say goodbye. When we're apart, you're in my heart. When we're apart, you'll be in my heart. And I love reading you stories and singing songs with you. And you are the best at listening to stories and helping me with them. And I'm so glad that we had this time together. And you have a wonderfully, wonderfully fun summer with your family. Bye, friends. I love you.